Welcome everyone, this is Alex Burke from the Salem Museum and Historical Society. And for this week's episode of White Glove Wednesday, we're here to look at the artifact right in front of me. It measures about 12 inches tall by 6 inches wide. It's made out of ceramic, has a stopper on it. And to most people, this would look like just an old ceramic jug. But this is actually an antique bed pig or bed warmer. Meet, basically meaning this is the first heated blanket. And to work these th work bed pigs, you take the stopper out, you'd fill it with warm water, close it up, obviously, and then place it at the foot of your bed before you got in each evening to warm your bed. Interestingly enough, bed pigs can actually trace their lineage all the way back to the 1600s, when the first models actually used live coals from fires to warm your bed. Obviously, this was incredibly dangerous to have live coals near flammable materials. So they had to be con these, the original models had to be constantly washed and supervised and taken out each evening before you got in them. But it didn't take people long to realize that you could alter the design slightly and fill it with water instead of live coals, or the bed pig could stay in your bed throughout the course of the evening. But these first models came before the invention of rubber. So they often lost their heat throughout the course of the evening, and the stopper often also didn't prevent leaks. But throughout the course of history, different designs and adaptations were made to them. They are made of several different materials, like this one was ceramic, others were made of glass, some were made of metal, and interestingly enough, some were even made of wood. But ultimately though, with electricity coming in the 18th, 20th century, these ultimately went out of style in the 18 and 1900s and today they are just a collector's item. That's going to conclude it, though, everyone, for this week's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. This was Alex Burke from the Salem Museum and Historical Society. I'll see you next time.